You know, there's so many stories. When dad lost his job, we had to move into a new place. Okay, you got it? Yeah. That wasn't as nice as our old place. Let's go get some more stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. My dad was trying to find a new job. Hi, is this Miss LaMercier? Hi, yes, so uh, Daniel Franklin High School. Mom was working, so I thought things were okay. Okay, so it's it's been filled. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to check in with her. Mom and Dad used to go out together, but Mom started going out alone. Once Dad had to get her with his car, he said it was like an emergency. Before, Dad could do anything. But then, Dad pretty much checked out. Dad? Are you okay? Sometimes my mom would call. Hello? When it got really bad, it felt like they didn't even see me. I could hear everything they said. Oh, shut up! Get out of my face! I'm looking for a goddamn job, and you're out there running around. I don't know how she found that place. How can I help you today? I don't know. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. 
Chabad Lifeline is different than other addiction centers in many ways. One is that we're immediate. There's no waiting list. I feel so ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's really brave that you came. This is the first step. Okay, thank you. The thing that I'm most proud of is so many people tell us that this is a warm, non-judgmental, welcoming place. A place they didn't expect and a place that gives them such a sense of relief and comfort. She said they put her on a program. My wallet. I have no idea. Later, we all started going together. There would usually be the screaming. Here, we understand that everybody needs support. There are children of addicts that need support. Spouses, these are people who are suffering and they don't need to. And I remember telling myself that I never wanted to be like my mother. This is so important to me personally because I grew up in a home with an older brother who since passed away and his life was out of control. And my parents didn't know what to do, how to deal with him. And as a 12 year old at the time, and my sister is 11 years old, we watched this unfold in front of us and we didn't know what to make of it. I'm looking for those kids. I want them to know that there's an advocate for them. Sometimes I didn't know what to say, but I didn't feel invisible anymore. Our solution has to do with connecting people and let them know that they're not alone and they never have to be alone again. And that's what we're all about.